you don't solve your problem, who else going to solve your problem? So your problem is your ego. Your ego is your problem. Ego is also confused. It's a confused mind. It is a mixture of mixture of hatred, obsession, and very strong selfishness and ignorance all together makes the individual clearly not see our own problems. Even our problems will take comfort in it and encourage Ego encourages our hatred. Ego encourages our obsession. Makes our obsession grow. Makes our hatred grow. So the biggest enemy inside is ego. So that, even the completely open mind scientist is not going to, to look for. Because they'll be very afraid of looking it. Because what they're going to find it, how they're going to draw a conclusion, what they're going to explain, they will not be able to. So that is, and that is somehow left for the spiritual people to handle that. And do you need to handle that, not only for ourselves, but for everybody. For everybody. Uh, for everybody. And I also, our urgent need is, as what I wanted to quote, Chandra Gidis, Kansara Wanju Jai, Tuneva, Kedendida, and Zimbra Mijana, Yang Sada Lomesha, Wanju Nyuwa, Telejeni, Kanga Lomjus, Kansara Wanju Jai, Tuneva. Chandra Gidis said, if you look in the today's life, life, today you have a freedom. You have a freedom. You can do whatever you want to do. And don't do whatever you don't want to do. And uh, you have all valuable facilities. And at this moment, if you don't tackle your problem, and if you lose your freedom, how are you going to handle it? In case if you fall down, So be, you will not be able to manage. So it's a, somehow we are in a, such a great opportunity. Number one, we have been human beings. Happens to be. You must be thinking, what this crazy guy is saying? You know, I am coming from a reincarnation background. And if I don't, believe reincarnation, I lose my job. <laughs> you all will kick me out. He's not a Rinpoche, get him out. Get him out. And so, uh, anyway, so that's, uh, that was that, that was joke. But, but the thing is, is I am from the reincarnation background, so reincarnation does not mean continue in our life forever. No. Reincarnation means this life keep on changing. Sometimes better, sometimes worse, sometimes the same thing. Totally. That is reincarnation. Some people say we are human beings, now we are going to go better and better. No guarantee. From the Buddhist point of view, 
from the Buddha's point of view, from anybody's point of view, no one can guarantee you you're going to be better. No one can guarantee you except yourself who are going to be better. It depends on, totally depends on the individual. Totally. Almost, I like to say, I almost, <coughs> I'm not saying it, but almost I like to say, I am going to be my own creator. Uh, my own future life creator today. Actually, whatever I'm doing today, I'm creating my future life, so do each one of you. Each one of you. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're moving, whatever you're doing, you are creating your future. The future is the result of it today. Today's life makes your future, honestly, honestly. That's really true, this. And that's why you may be able to guarantee your future life is going to be better. No one else. If someone tried to give you guarantee or false certificate, don't buy it. Because you're wasting your money. No one can guarantee. No one. It is absolutely you yourself. You are, as Americans, you understand and you are independent. And you know, you know yourself. And, and you can do whatever you want to do. Or do not do whatever you don't want to do. You do have that privilege right now. Right now. I was under communist control in my young age. You don't have that privilege. You don't have that right. What we are so proud of, my right. So which, under communist control, the old communist, whatever it is, is, is now the communist is anyway gone, um, gone. It was may not be so worse as a Hitler's control, but communism was equally bad. And we don't have those rights. And you do have rights. You do. Uh, so, so you have your life in your own control. And this is what Chandrakit is talking about the freedom. And this is a true freedom. True freedom. True freedom. So when you have that true freedom, you better do something that what you will help you. Uh, you know, if you let your life controlled by your addictions, if you let your life controlled by your addictions, then you are not helping yourself. You are harming yourself. The consequences of um, killing will be losing our life, shorten our life. And uh, consequences of stealing will become poor. Consequences of immorality we become ugly. Consequences of impatience. Um, what happens? Huh? That also ugly, yes. <laughs> As a, I mean, ugly is not so bad. And then you go, you go to hell too, uh, and then all you go to hungry ghost and all of those, and that is the, that's that is really how karma is working 
it is entirely in the individual's hand. So really, it's in your hand. You have to empower yourself. You have to manage your life in the spiritual path. As you do in your daily life, you have to manage yourself. You don't want to be managed by others, no matter whoever the others may be. You don't want to manage your life by others, by your mother, mother-in-law, husband, or I don't know, husband in, is there something called husband-in-law? <laughs> or whatever, uh, anything, anything. I mean, your life, you want it to be managed by yourself. Likewise, in your life, that's the truth, right? So likewise, in your spiritual life, also you have to manage by yourself. The others can suggest, can give inf information, can show you a path, but cannot, cannot enter in your body and change it. So that's why you have to manage your life by yourself. And how do you manage? What is the positive? What is the negative? You have to have information. If you don't have information, then we will try to do the best you could. You try to do the best you could. That might not be the best. That may letting yourself down. So, so we'll be talking in those lines. And uh, so it is the beginning of the today. So I really want you to remember, you have the freedom. You are independent. Your life is in your control. If you don't take, take charge. If you are good spiritual practitioners, you have to take your life in your hand. Earlier, Tibetan teachers tell, you know, in Tibet, those yaks uh, are very much, uh, very much a, a livelihood for many Tibetan, particularly nomads. Just like Native Americans have the buffalo is their livelihood, you know. They, they eat meat, they, they, they wear the skin, and they make the tent, and everything, life supply by it. And Tibetans too with the yak. So they keep these female yaks mostly they, because they run away, right? So they make a hole in their nose and put little wood in there and then little rope so that they can keep it. And this is called the nada, nada. So, so they can pull it, right? So you know, I got a hole here and then somebody's holding the rope, they pull you, you have to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> no choice. Yeah, no choice because it's going to, to either tear it up or going to be painful, so you got to go. So, so the earlier teacher says, if you are spiritual practitioners, make sure you put your that nose, to, nose that uh, rope. Make sure you put nose rope on your own horns. So don't let anybody get that. And uh, put it on your own horns. If say, somebody try to get it, poke it. And uh, get away with it. So because once you lost that, then you are somebody else's control. So that's what earlier teachers advised for us. So the same thing today. I repeat that. And to see, make sure you control your life. You manage your life. You, you are. But you make sure you do. You do it well. 
And that is your spiritual priority. 